Welcome, Marcus. Could you tell me why you decided to migrate? Uh, I'm part of a group of migrants who were part of the first brain drain out of Western Europe to America during the 1960s. I was a chemical engineer and I guess I just had the right skills which America needed at the time. I realised that in America I could earn a lot more money. Uh, certainly I was able to get a good job and, and support my family much better there than I could in England. Thanks Marcus. So your reasons were mostly economic. What about you, Clara? Why did you leave? My family emigrated from our home country because of the Civil War. It was very dangerous for us and we experienced some terrible things before we finally left. I really believe that people should have the right to migrate if they want to, and so there should be fewer restrictions on migration. If it's difficult or dangerous to live in a country, then people should be able to migrate to another where they can live more safely. I can see that you have strong feelings about leaving your country when you did. I wonder, Solomon, do you feel strongly about leaving your country? My family lives in an island nation, and I want to live there when I finish my studies. However, sea levels are rising, and in the future, we may have to leave. Our whole country is only a few meters above sea level, so we're very vulnerable to climate change. Already, we have seen the effects of rising sea levels on our crops. I think we have to prepare to find another country if things get worse. So for you and your family, Solomon, moving is an unwelcome change. So Joseph, was the decision to migrate a family issue for you? Yes and no. My dad met my mum when uh, he was working overseas. They fell in love and they wanted to get married. It wasn't too easy to arrange, but finally mum was able to immigrate here and marry my dad. They raised a big family together and they have a successful business. My mum taught us her language and we go there regularly so we can see mum's family. I think she still misses her home sometimes. I see. So even though you were born here, you are still connected to your mum's home country. It's like having two countries, I guess. Now, Benny, why did you decide to change country? Uh, well, I came here for work and I am planning to return home someday. Um, I work in the building industry and there are not enough workers in this country to meet that demand. So. This large company hired me to come on a special working visa. Uh, I send home as much money as I can every month to support my family. Um, I miss them and can get quite lonely here. Mm. But I look forward to the day I can return. Um, but right now I am happy to be earning good money and I'll stay as long as I can. That's interesting, Benny. It seems that your stay here is really temporary, not, not permanent. Now I'd like to ask you some more questions. Okay.